So there's tons of different niche strategies that you can use in pickleball if you're playing doubles, mixed, or singles. But what I'm gonna show you today is what I call an umbrella strategy, and it sits on top of every other strategy you would use. Once you understand these concepts, it's gonna drive every decision you're gonna make on the pickleball court. Let's get into it. First, we need to understand that there's only three states that you can be in at any given time during a pickleball point. You can be on offense, you can be on defense, or you can be neutral. How do we know in a point if we're on offense, if we're on defense, if we're neutral? If we know that, then the next question is, what do we do in those situations? What do I do when I'm on defense? What shot do I hit when I'm on offense? What am I trying to accomplish when I'm neutral in a point? Once you understand these concepts, then there's no strategic situation or position that you can't handle. So before we dive in deep here, I wanna thank Selkirk for being a supportive sponsor of my channel. If you have any pickleball paddle or apparel needs, definitely check them out. They make awesome stuff and use my link and code that's in the description below. So let's start off talking about the three states of play. First, we have to identify which one you're in. If you don't know if you're on offense or defense or neutral, then you're not gonna know what you should be doing. So we're gonna start off looking at some cues and markers that you can look for in a point that are gonna tell you which state you're currently in. So first, let's take a look at defense. There's a bunch of things that you could identify in a point that would suggest that you've gone into a defensive position. The first one and probably easiest to identify is court positioning. If your opponents are closer to the kitchen line than you are, then you're in a defensive position. I don't consider a point neutral until all four players are at the kitchen line. Next, we've got balance. If you're hitting a shot and you're off balance, if you're stretched for the ball, reaching for the ball, having to take a big lunge, that's gonna be a good sign that you're in trouble and you should be starting to play defense. Third, we got contact point, and this is closely tied to balance. So examples of poor contact would be the ball got behind you. Uh, again, you're having to overstretch or overreach for it. Maybe a ball's coming quickly and you're jammed up on it. You don't have a kind of good spacing with your body. Those would be all compromises in contact point that again suggest you're on defense. The fourth one would be if you're forced to take the ball off a half volley. And a half volley, if you don't uh, know that term is basically when you're taking the ball right off the bounce. The problem with this is there's no way to really play an offensive shot off of a half volley. So if you're playing that ball off a half volley, again, you're most likely on defense. These last two are going to be what type of ball you're giving your opponent. So number five would be if you gave your opponent a shot that they get to take out of the air, then you're most likely on defense. And then similarly, number six would be if you hit what we call a dead dink or a shot that lands in front of your opponent and sits up pretty nicely, your opponent's going to have a lot of control to do whatever they want with that shot. So again, you're most likely going to be in a more defensive position in that scenario. So once we understand the defensive things, looking at the offensive side becomes pretty simple. We just reverse everything. If I see any of these issues in my opponent, they're in a worse court position than me, they're off balance, they have a compromised contact point, they're taking a ball off a half volley, or if I'm getting a ball out of the air, or I'm receiving a dead dink that's gonna give me options, those are all meaning that I am now in an offensive position in the point. And then last, we look at neutral. Neutral is basically when all four players are in a similar court position, Usually that means up at the kitchen line and none of these other criteria exist. So all of those offensive and defensive things we just talked about, if none of those exist, then we're in a neutral point and no one has really taken control yet. So now what do we do with this information? First, let's look at defense again. When we're on defense, it means that our opponents are trying to apply pressure to us and our main goal is to relieve that pressure. So here's a couple ways that you can do that. Number one, I'm gonna to try to create space. So a lot of times that means back up a little bit because if I'm in trouble, I need more time 
to react to what my opponent's about to do to me. Second, we just kind of talked about it, is create time. So the way we're gonna do that, which is number three, is the key to this when you are on defense is you must make the next ball bounce. If you can make the next ball bounce in the kitchen, that's gonna buy you time and it's gonna allow you to recover in time and then hopefully get back to neutral and get back in that point. Again, with offense, it's basically just the opposite of defense. So when we identify that we're in an offensive position, our first goal is gonna be to take away space. So that means following the shot you just hit, closing the distance between yourself and your opponent, getting all the way up to that kitchen line when possible, and even reaching in a little bit. Next, we wanna take away time from our opponents. If we get that next ball earlier and take away time, our opponents have less time to recover, which means less time to react to what we're gonna do next. And the way we're specifically gonna do this is to try to get the next ball out of the air. If you can reach in and get that next ball out of the air, you'll still control the tempo of the point and you'll still keep your opponents on their heels. And then last, what are we trying to accomplish when we're neutral in a point? Basically, it's, a, it's trying to be the first team to take offense. So all those things we talked about before, off balance, poor contact point, half volley, all of those things, I'm trying to hit shots that put my opponent in that position, which leads me to offense, which means, leads me to be able to build pressure in the point and hopefully eventually win the point. So I hope this made sense. This was just a quick overview to kind of get us started on this topic. Make sure you look out for the next video because we're gonna be looking at live pro point play and I'm gonna be walking you through all of these states as a point goes on and why decisions are made, why certain shots are hit, and you can see this all play out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and I will see you next time, thanks.